Okay, so hello people of the internet. I am back with my uh, colouring book haul, not hold, um, uh, for September. So I'm starting with this one because uh, obviously you've already seen this. This one was the one that I bought from WH Smiths. Um, so you've all seen this book. Uh, it's a sort of grayscale mandala type book which looks amazing when coloured with alcohol markers and I have wanted it for ages. Okay, next are two books that I received as a gift from Emma Colours. Um, she contacted me on Instagram and said that she would like to send me this book. Um, I believe it was a duplicate of one that she, she had two of them and she didn't want it to go to waste and it's one I don't have I don't have Joanna Bass to go to waste as though a colouring book is ever going to go to waste um oh look at that I have not actually looked at this book properly mm. it's not it's one that I haven't got it's that it was actually on my wish list for Christmas which has now been taken off and yeah it's uh, Joanna Bassford Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and so Emma sent it to me and wished me a happy birthday and she also sent me this as well which is Fantasy Dolls, uh, Grayscale, 25 portraits of big eye cuties. Woohoo, I've got to keep leaning forward because I've got a bright red vest on today. I keep Every time I look up the camera I think, what's that? And I realise it's my vest. Um, and this is Grayscale pictures, Ooh, which I am very much scared to do, and I know that Emma did a, and I'll link it down below, she did a live stream of how to colour Grayscale, which I have yet to watch because it was when I was on holiday, so I wasn't able to watch it, um, and I want to sit and watch it and sort of play along, and it's finding the time. These are quite nice pictures, they're sort of like painted pictures. I'm scared of faces and I'm scared of grayscale. So this book is really going to push me out of my comfort zone, which is interesting because for Chronic Colouring Down Under, Sarah, um, you know the colour, colour monopoly, colouropoly thing that she does every month? This month I got one draw, one dice, <laughs> one go, I actually got two go. I actually picked two goes, but I landed in jail. And in jail, I got that I had to. I've got to colour from a book that uh, I don't like, or don't, or scares me, or intimidates me, or something. And I think this is probably the ideal one. Playing in a grayscale colouring book with faces in it. So Emma really knows how to push me out of my comfort zone. But she, you never know. She may open a whole new, exciting colouring door for me. Okay, so the next uh, little stack of books that I got, I got all for my birthday and I've already shown them briefly on my my goodies uh, uh, video, haul video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the stained glass colouring book by Coco Wyo. They're both are. This is the animal one and this is the flowers one. I really like the look of these. I feel like they're going to be like colour by numbers, but not quite because... When I've seen people do them, they do them like this, you know, like with all different colours on the birdies. And I quite like that. I quite like kind of making them look like stained glass. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I mean, look, I really want to colour that one. I want to do all blue, different shades of blue in the background there, different shades of green here, different shades of brown. I want to do this one now. <laughs> I literally want to do this one now. You know when you look at something and you just want to do it? That's... Oh, and that one. Yeah, I really want to do these. But, yeah, my husband, these are on my wish list and my husband bought them for me. Oh, and that one. Yeah, I really want to do these. I really want to do a lot of my books. It's it's time. It's not in pet... In, in, it's not in pet... It's not... What's the word? It's not... What's the word? Um... I want to do them, I just don't have the time. <laughs> right, the other one, another one he bought me, actually he only bought me five colouring, only bought me five, uh, is this one, which is the Colour by Number Pattern Book by Jade Summer. There's a couple of these, isn't there? There's um, Beautiful Patterns and Pretty Patterns or something like that. I specific, specifically wanted another Colour by Number book be, because um, 
I have sorted out all my pens for the Jade Summer Colour by Numbers, but I only actually have one Jade Summer Colour by Numbers. So I had this in my wish list. I did actually add it, all of these things, to my wish list so that my husband could tell my mum, you know, she could buy me a couple of books that she knew I wanted. Um, he bought them all because that's what he does. Apart from this, which my mum did buy me, <laughs> this was picked off my wish list. Um, I really, I've not seen this in great detail, but I really do like the fact that it shows you. I want to get into my pencils more, and I I need stuff like this. I need someone showing me the way how to do things, and um, so this has been on my list for a while. I know there's videos out there. But I need this. Someone's got the pictures and you can have a go yourself. I need to do what they're doing. <laughs> so, yeah, I had this on my list for a while and my mum got it for me for my birthday. And then the other two books that my husband got me <gasps> were the other two of these hardback mandala books. Like I say, I've already shown these. I already have one of these, which was the collector's edition. And these ones are... The artist edition and the artist edition two, and I'm going to do a flip through of these because there isn't any English flip throughs of them, and these are really glorious, gorgeous. The paper is thick paper. These mandalas are gloriously detailed if you like fine details, but yeah, these ones. It's the paper for me. Beautiful, beautiful books. Um, so I got you got me artist edition and artist edition two. So I now have all of the. Um, He's got a bit mucky that one lot. So yeah, really, really, really happy with those. The next, this was also something that I purchased when we were away on holiday, which is the Winnie the... My husband just came up behind me and freaked me out. Um, so yes, I bought this from the range when we were on holiday. It is uh, mainly for my mum. It comes with, it's watercolour paper really nice thick 300 gsm watercolor paper and uh it's winnie the pooh and it comes with 24 sheets 12 12 different pictures and i'm going to split it in two so my mum can do some and i can do some okay so now the rest of the stuff is not stuff that i bought on holiday or not stuff that i got from presents it's stuff that i have purchased it's not all for me though so i bought this and i bought this for my brother for christmas I saw it on someone's channel and I just knew it would be absolutely the kind of uh, colouring book that he would love because he loves cartoons, it's Marvel so it's you know that kind of thing, it's just and it's super cute because it's young Marvel characters and I had, I bought this off of eBay not off of Amazon and I'm just uh, looking at the price, it was £5.60, I had it um, in my basket on eBay, and I think it was originally eight ninety nine or something. I just, I, I just hadn't bought it. It was just sitting there, and then the price went down to seven pound ninety. And I thought, oh, that's good. I'll, I'll buy that when I come home because I was on holiday. And then it went down to five pound sixty. So I bought it, <laughs> even though I was on holiday, because I thought that was a really good price. And it's for my brother towards his Christmas present. So that's the Young Marvel coloring book. I then bought this. I already have this. I have bought this copy from my mum. And it was because I was, I'd was i seen this book was coming out. And when they, the Colour Questopia books first come out in the UK, they're £3.60 when they first come out. For the first week or two weeks at the most, they come out for £3.60 and then they go up to 4 99 or 5 25 So I, if there's one that I'm interested in and I've seen a flip through for it, I try to buy it within the first, you know, while it's £3.60 basically. And while I was looking for this, uh, I saw that this had gone down to £3.60. I don't know why. Um, so my mum has already seen my one and says, oh, that's a really nice one. I wish I had that one. So I, I bought, when it went down to £3.60, I bought a copy of that for my mum. It did come with a really creased corner. Look at that. But I'm probably, I don't know. I don't think she'll mind, but eh. anyway. So uh, yes, Happy Halloween. I've already done a flip through of this. I love this colouring book. I like cute Halloween pictures. I don't like scary Halloween pictures. So I, um, yeah, bought that. The other one that um, came out recently in the black background was the Witch Fantasy. It was already available a while ago in the white background because it's one of the ones with the, the lots of colours. Oh, sun's coming out. Or oh, the clouds are lifting at least. Look at that, it's all gone bright. 
Um, and this one, this one is so detailed, but I am really, really loving doing it. Um, I've done one at the back as well, one of the <laughs> one of the bonus pages, because one of the bonus pages was from Happy Halloween. So I did that, and then I've done that one as well. Oh, I did another one. I've done that one. Nope, just done the three in there at the moment, but yeah. Bought that. Um, and then I bought this, and this was very much a bandwagon jump in, saw everyone else buying it, really saw the flip throughs, really liked the pictures in it, but the pictures in it are huge, <laughs> and it's just like, I'm not, and it's also got a dodgy fold all the way through it, which annoys me, and I'm not sure I'm going to colour something, you know, that huge. I know that sounds funny, but the pictures are just really big. I mean, I quite like that one. That looks quite nice. And I do like the grayscaleness. And I like that one, like, like Little Shop of Horrors Audrey 2. But they just feel really big. I don't know. I do really like it. I wish it didn't have the crease in it. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. I might send that one back. I do tell you if I send things back. Next one I bought was a £3.50 special and Camellia Angelicova and this is the first of her miniature series that I own. I don't own the summer, the spring, the autumn, the winter, the whatever. I only own mandala books. But I saw a flip through of this and I just thought it's super cute, cartoony and I quite like the fact that they're little and someone said you know, the fact that they're little, you can get them done. I mean, when you compare, let's just compare the size of the image with, you know, one of the images there. They just, it just seems ginormous, doesn't it? Let's move you over. I don't want to knock my tea over, over all my books. Oh, yeah, it looks, I don't know, that feels like, I mean, I know that's the full size, but it's, it's more the fact that, I mean, look at that dog. That dog is ginormous. This was like all your ink, all your pens are going to be sucked in. Yeah, I've, maybe I've, um, I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a cute and spooky, but I like this. I've already coloured in it. I've got to learn how to do shading um, because when I do the plain ones now, like that, on these type of books, I, I feel it's lacking. I enjoy doing flat mandalas. When you do a picture, you want to... I feel like it needs some shading. But eh, we're here to learn. Next one I bought oh, was this. And I can't remember whose channel. Sorry, zoom you back out because I just zoomed in. Can't remember whose channel I've seen it on. I saw it on first. I've seen it on a couple of channels. Um, I think I've seen it on Sarah. Sarah, Chronic Colouring Down Under's channel. Maybe? Can't remember. But... Oh, this is adorably cute. This is like um, Halloween aliens, but not quite Halloween, not quite um, doodle factory kind of thing. I just really like this. My brother would really like this as well. But it's like all these little ones. I just want to do... Ah, oh, gel pens. Looks like fun, doesn't it? So this is um, Doodle Adventure in... Martian Land <laughs> uh, by Ronnie C. Pios. Look at it. Oh, brilliant. That's Oh, that's by uh, Julia Rivers. You've probably seen it. I don't really buy anything. New, new, you know, cutting edge. Uh, this is the, I don't know if this is the latest colour in heaven. Um, but, oh, look at that. My mum bought it for me when we went shopping. Um, she often does when we go shopping because she's nice like that. Oh, that means I've got, this is my first Hannah Lynn pictures. That's quite handy because I don't have any Hannah Lynn pictures. And lately I've been seeing a few that I quite fancy colouring. I wish I could just colour all day. <laughs> I don't suppose that would get the uh, mortgage paid though, would it, if I just coloured all day. Wouldn't it be nice just to get up in the morning not put on a bra, get your pens out and colour all day. Maybe it would get boring if you could colour all day though. 
Mm, some nice pictures in here. Oh, headless horseman. Cat. Ooh. Well, that one's a bit weird, isn't it? Is that a fairy who's cut her wings off? Oh, it's quite sad, isn't it? It's called Broken Wings. Yeah, I like the cute ones more than the... Uh, but I prefer that than the, the fairy with the broken wings on. There's some nice pictures in there. Actually, that's a nice one. Some of the um, colour in heavens I'm not so impressed with. Okay, next is my new obsession, which is Angela Paula. <laughs> In my last haul. Now, I am so fickle. I say that I don't like Zen doodly pictures. Which I don't. But the ones I don't like are the ones where they're the animals that have the faces that are all got patterns in them. So it might be a dog when it's all chopped up into little bits. Not, <laughs> not chopped up into little You know what I mean. I'll try and put a picture in so you know what I mean. I love doing mandalas. I didn't think I ever would. I thought they looked too busy. They would do my head in. I wanted to colour pictures. And then I bought a mandala book and I love doing mandalas. And to me, these, I said they feel like flattened mandalas, which is crazy because mandalas are flat. When I did say it on my live stream yesterday, I um, cross stitch button looked at the camera and went, eh? What's she talking about flat mandalas? Mandalas are flat. But you know, like if you took the bits of a mandala out and you sort of put them out, this is what they sort of reminded me of. I talk some rubbish sometimes, don't I? But I bought before, in last in last um, month's haul, I bought this one, which was my first Angela Porter book, the Entangled Christmas one. And it's the only Entangled one that I have. I do have the Entangled Garden one, and I think the Entangled Space one on my wish list for Christmas. And I like the look of this. And then I saw this one. I don't know why. I think I was just surfing around looking for Angela Porter. This was, you know, end of the month. I'm going into my no spend. I need to buy everything that I'm going to need forever. Because I'm never going to buy anything again. Well, till the end of the year. Or well, till Prime Day anyway. And I saw this one, which is one of her older ones. And this one was second hand. You know, the um, buy used and it was by used, very good condition, and it was £1.39, um, which isn't a bad price for it. I think new it was £11 or something. It smells lovely. Don't ask me why I smell books. It smells like a proper book. And I literally started colouring in it already. This was what I... I started doing this, and I did some more of it on my live stream yesterday. Um, but the paper's really, really thin. Really thin. It's thinner than the Creative Haven paper. This is gel pens and they, you know, that's a single layer, maybe in places it's a double layer. So I've, um, I'm protecting the next page against gel pens, but I think with this one, what I'm going to do is photocopy, scan these, scan these images in, because they're a lovely, you know, A4 square size and print them um, and colour them on because this is cream paper as well this isn't white you can see there that's white paper and this is cream so I kind of want yeah I think I'm going to scan and scan and print these but this was I mean I was lucky I got this very good condition you know used and it is a lovely book I absolutely love it and yeah so I've now got two Angela Porter books um you'll have seen if you watch I have done a video on advent calendar books all of those books were bought in this buy-in period, um, so from the 15th of uh, September. I have sent all of those back apart from one which I've given to my mum, and but I kept this one. So if you've seen that video, you'll know that um, I compared advent calendar colouring books, and this one was the one that I have kept to play with myself with the little doors that open. This is adorable, <laughs> and I really like it. And then after I um, after I filmed that video, one of the advent colouring books that I purchased, no it wasn't one, one of the advent calendar books that I looked at was a mandala colouring book that was just a mandala with, <laughs> with a number one, next page, a mandala with a number two in the middle and I thought you know something, if I was going to get that I might as well just get do a mandala every day over Christmas. So I ended up buying this which is a Camellia Angela Cova 
Chris, Mandel, Christmas Mandala's book. It's not new. It's the little square eight and a half by eight and a half one. And it's, you know, these are nicely doable in a day. So, and I think it has 25, yeah. Containing 25 Christmas and New Year mandalas um, with festive and winter designs. So I am actually going to use this as my advent Christmas colouring. So colour one a day up to the 25th. And yeah, this, you know, these are nice and little, gel penny. So just work through it and do one a day for advent really looking forward to that but i can't just buy one i bought two <laughs> i saw this one by coco wyo um this i think this has got 25 as well i can't remember i would count but i don't want to do that while you're here um yeah these are a little bit more um detailed i suppose bit picture it's a cute one though I do love a mandala. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to put all my Christmas books together and um, and see how many Christmas books I've got because well, I've probably got quite a few now. Um, so that was it. That was all I purchased up until the first of October. So that was basically when my no spend started. However, I then did purchase this book, and I purchased this book for my mum, not for me. Um, and so I don't count it as being, because it's a present, um, my no spend means I can't buy any more stuffs for me. Um, and I bought it for her and it has got a misprint in it. I've done a flip through for it and I think I highlight it in the flip through that there's two pages that were the same. Yeah, this is the corrected one. Um, and yeah, so this is the one, it's got two, I did a flip through of this, it's got two in it the same. And Colour Quest Opia contacted me and said, no, you shouldn't have two in it the same. And um, so they have sent me a replacement, which is correct, has got the correct image in it now. So I'm going to do a redo of the flip through so that people can see that it hasn't got two images in it. But yeah, so uh, I bought this for my mum and uh, I ended up with two copies, one printed correctly and one not. And that's it. I mean, that is a lot of books. I am going to lay them all out. I think when I counted there was 22, which is a lot of books. And I already have a lot of books. And I have been being more selective with what I buy or, and what I had on my wish list. But I also have a lot of books and I want to enjoy my books. So like I said, I am on a no spend now. Um, I am going to carry on doing videos and I'm going to do collection videos and I'm actually going to do some little bit of decluttering again and um, yeah but hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to seeing you soon of course if you like watching haul videos I hope you enjoyed it if you don't what are you doing here go away <laughs> all right take care everyone and thanks very much for watching bye